Hi, my name is Andy Colbar and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching the Riedel Director How-To Series. In this video, we will cover momentary, latching, and automatic key press options. We have these three options when programming any key functions in Director. Let's take a quick look at what they do. First, we need to get into the key properties by double-clicking on any key on your panel. Under Key Mode, you'll see the three options for momentary, auto, or latching. Latching is we press the key once, and it stays on until we press the key again. Latching abilities are needed for show callers and directors for talking on conferences, as they are usually talking for extended periods of time to give cues. We can use latching keys for listen to port functions as well, so we can latch on and listen to any audio for an extended period of time. We can also define the timeout period of the latch, from 1 second to 24 hours. The default is permanent. This is a good tool if you have an on-air light that you want to trigger for an hour and have it automatically turn off once the hour is over. The next option is momentary. This is where we hold down the key to trigger the function, and when we release the key, the function stops. This is typical for most users to press a key to talk or perform any other functions. This is good for point-to-point -point communications and most users on conferences that do not need to be latched on. The final option is automatic. This is a combination of latching and momentary. A short press will latch the key, and a long press will be a momentary press. It is recommended to only use the automatic key mode with users that know how the press works in the event that they do not accidentally latch themselves on for an extended period of time. As you can see in automatic mode, you still have the ability to change the latching timeout. You can edit these key press options for any key on your panel by going into the properties of those keys to achieve the desired workflow of the user. Thanks for watching this short video on the key press options. There are many different ways to utilize these options to customize your workflow. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and remember to subscribe to see new content in the future.